Hey everybody and welcome back. It's been quite a while again. I've been super busy with school and stuff. I'm sorry I just have not uploaded in forever, but uh, I'm going to seriously try to get back on schedule. I got to just do my homework, make some videos, get it done. But anyways, let's just jump right into the news and I really only have one topic here to talk about. There's probably been a bunch of other news I've been wanting to talk about as well. But this just hit me this morning, so I actually am making this video and uploaded it today. So <laughs> I was sitting there and I was like, you know what? Because I was in town last night and I was going to go out and buy a couple of Xbox 360 games to play on my Xbox One that were backwards compatible. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go check GameStop's website. And clearly by the title of this video, you guys can tell what the video is going to be on. So it's I, I, I own the game for like PS3. Actually, most of these games I already own. A couple of them, I should say. <laughs> and not all of them, I own about three of them. So I'm just going to go through a couple here of this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. But it's going to be on GameStop. So let's just jump right in. All right, so the first one up here is going to be Skate 3. Now you guys can see that it says buy new, which is not available because obviously the game came out in like 2010. Or you can buy it pre-owned for $24.99. You guys can see the power up rewards price. I'm just going to go off the non-power up rewards because I don't have it anymore. I used to. I just stopped getting it like two years ago. Um, stupid computer. Anyways, so yeah, $24.99. You know how much I bought that new four back in the day? I think I paid $17.99 new. Not back in the day, but I'll, I bought it for PS3 in 2013 for like $17.99 or so. So, I don't know if 360 is more higher price, but it definitely wasn't $24.99. I know it says buy for 20 bucks new, but obviously they don't have it, so I'm not going off that price. Well, let's go off the used price for this video. $25 bucks for Skate 3. And then I was like, you know what, screw it. So, I went and bought it on, on the Microsoft Store. It was $14.99 digital right on the Microsoft Store. I didn't have to go anywhere to get it. So, I was like, why would I do this? And I was like, you know what? This, this might lead into something here. So I'm like, you know what? GTA 4 just um, uh, was backwards combat, com combat, ah, compatible. Jeez, I can't even talk. All right. So I was like, you know what? Let's look up GTA 4 and then let's, let's check it out. So you can see it. Buy it pre-owned. 20 bucks. That's a little bit high price, but I went to check the Microsoft store and it was indeed 1999 as well. So that one's not really far off from pricing. I was like, uh, maybe, maybe they aren't raising their prices due to the backwards compatibility. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. And I'm like, well, I, I have Red Dead Redemption for PS3. So I kind of went into that and I was like, buy for 20, 1999. I didn't actually check the Microsoft store just because I already own the game myself. Personally, I don't need to look on how much I paid. But I did pay, I think I paid about that same price. So I was like, oh, maybe I'm just wrong here with this whole thing. You know, maybe I'm just striking out. I'm like, oh, let me, let me check Forza Horizon. 20 bucks. So I, 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 I was like, what? May, like, maybe they just aren't raising their prices. But for sure, Skate 3 really threw me off. And then, if you guys aren't aware, this is the last one I'm going to talk about. And this is the main one that hits home. Like, I, I, I feel like some games aren't extremely high priced. It's the really the high demand games, really, is really what it comes down to. Like, Skate 3, GTA 4, Red Dead Redemption. Not, they're not that they jack the price way up, but it's just a matter of they probably either raise the price or you can buy it for the same price on the store. Like, the games are old. They, they shouldn't be going for that much pre-owned in general. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, the games are old. Skate 3 came out in 2010. That should be like 15 bucks on the disc, 20 bucks on the store, or 10 bucks on the disc, 15 bucks on the store or something like that. GTA 4 should be like, I I, I did check. My friend did uh, did tell me as well. He did check when he got like a gift card for GameStop. He was going to go buy GTA 4 like two months ago or a month and a half ago. And it was $6 for the Xbox 360 and now it's 20 bucks. I did forget to mention that. I'm sorry, but yes, he did let me know. I actually just got off the phone with him not too long ago. And he did say like 20 bucks. It was like six or seven bucks when I uh, checked last time, uh, about a month and a half ago. So I, I feel like maybe they are raising their prices because I do remember GTA four not being 20 bucks on the disc used, you know, for a new copy. Now my phone's going off. Why is everything going off today? Anyways, it should have been like 
six, seven bucks. It was what it was. It was like $5.99. All right, so the next one I need to talk about here is going to be Bully. Now, if you guys aren't aware, Bully is backwards compatible, the scholarship edition for the Xbox 360. As you guys can see here from the picture, it is going to be $29.99 used. I feel like that is way off because it is $14.99 in the Xbox store. What? So it's double the price if you want it on the disc? The game came out, was it in 2006? I have it on my PS3 for the PS2 version, but I wanted this because the scholarship edition is even better. So it's like, what? Uh, $30? That's half the price of a brand new $60 game like Wildlands, or I could go buy MLB The Show next month. GameStop, what are you doing? Why are you like jacking the price up on all these games that are super old? Just because they're in high demand again, that doesn't give you the right to jack the price up. I mean, it's your company, but it's like, why are you doing this? Maybe I'm just going crazy, guys. I don't know. I really want to hear your guys' opinion down in the comments. Do you guys really think GameStop is jacking up the prices due to the high demand of the disc version of the older games for the backwards compatibility? Or do you think I'm just crazy? Which, that could also be a thing as well. Uh, let me know down in the comments. I will be responding to you guys here later. I'll be on checking my comments and stuff today. And if you guys want to leave a comment, that'd be awesome. If you don't, that's cool. If you want to dislike, that's even better. But make sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And I will talk to you guys again soon. But before I go, like I said, I'm going to try to be uploading uh, at least once a week. I'm going to give it a try at once every weekend or so. Something like that. I'll make a video for the weekend if you guys want maybe a weekly news recap on the main news points. I could do something like that. Or I could just make random GameStop videos of fun times. I've never worked there, but maybe not. That's, stu that's stupid. Just forget I said it. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a good one.